Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, it's mid-July. Most of the spawning is over, and we're gonna see if we can put a monster flathead in the boat. Folks, early to mid-July is when most of the spawning is over with for pretty much all the species of catfish. Uh, flatheads are the last ones to end their spawn. Uh, their spawn finishes up later than any of them. And there's an old saying, uh, you never fish for flatheads between Memorial Day and July 4th. So uh, we all kind of look forward to when July 4th rolls around so we can go fishing for them with some kind of confidence. Uh, and that's what we were doing on this trip. Uh, we decided to go out and try to target them, try to target, target some areas of uh, underwater cover and structure uh, along channel edges, that kind of thing, and see if we could put some flatheads in the boat. Uh, the first plan of attack was that we set up and we anchored up. We anchored up in an area that had some brush piles, some underwater log jams that I could see on my side scan. And we puts out, put out some baits around these areas to see if we could hook into a flathead. Every bite we've had has come on this side of the boat. Have you noticed that in this spot? And, up, and the other spot. Well, finally, a rod went over, had kind of a weird bite, fish kind of had an interesting play to it, and I had a feeling it might be a flathead. Little deeper ditch over here, just a couple feet deeper. Oh man, we got a flathead. There's our first one. That's what we came here for. All right, hang on. Good fish. That's what we're looking for. That's what we came here for, Mr. Flatty. There. Well, after we fished this area for a while, I decided to do some drifting, uh, some trolling, actually. Uh, there was an area that I looked at, uh, an underwater river channel, a ledge, that had some fish hanging around it. Uh, most of the fish and bait fish were kind of suspended in about the 20 to 25 foot uh, mar uh, depth. Uh, there wasn't a thermocline in this part of the lake, uh, but there was something about that, that area. There was a sweet spot there that those fish were holding up in. And decided to do some trolling down this ledge to see if there were any flatheads staged up to feed on these fish. I hope it didn't come through some purse. That's a catfish though, ain't it? I just got one on this rod too. There's one right out through there. Oh, it's your best friend, Daddy. The one that busted me was actually smaller than that one. I know. This one can get a shot of him. Good, 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 good fish, little channel cats. Well, one of the things during this time of the year, if the flatheads aren't quite done, the channel cats definitely are, and we had no problem catching channel cats. Sold it over, which was a good, nice look, good bite. He's the biggest one. We have to have him. He's like dead weight pretty much. Do catfish get like tired really quickly? 
uh, they get, I mean, they're not gonna, they don't, they won't last as long as a saltwater fish will. There's a lot of anger there. There's a lot of anger you need to work on. Okay. Easy. What happened to the other one? Nice fish. Got full of tails. Let's get them back alive. Blue catfish were starting to show up too. We had no problem catching those fish, uh, but it wasn't exactly what we were after. Oh, oh, dang. Oh, it's a good fold. That was a good fold. That was a good fold. He folded like a monster. The fold, it went over like when we were picking up that second channel getting into the boat with the rod. Thank you. Is it going to be a storm today? No, it's nice and cloudy though. We had that rain come through last night, a little bit colder than normal here for summer. Recently, we've had some really weak bites on the fish. He's in this corner line. We'll deal with that. I figured he was. See if you can lift him up. There we go, guys. Another one. Well, we were about to the end of this drift, and uh, we're actually bringing rods in. And there was one that had kind of went over like it was hung. And um, I told Grayson, I said, I think that rod's hung up there. Doesn't look like it's moving. Uh, he picked up, felt up, and he said, I can't really tell if it's hung. And uh, I said, well, do you feel a head shake? And uh, they're really, you know, he said, no, but it feels like it's moving. And, uh, you know, a lot of times you can hook into a limb. Uh, you can hook into a limb that has some fishing line off of it. And you'll pull on this stuff, and you'll pull, and then as it falls and tumbles through the water, it'll feel like a head shake. So, uh, I picked up the rod, pulled on it, pulled on it. I said, yeah, it feels kind of odd. And then I felt the head shake. I handed the rod back to Grace and I said, son, I think there's a fish on this thing. I'm going to get these other rods out of the way. If it's a fish. You're I gonna... felt something move, but it's almost like it's a tumbling limb. They all kind of got that same kind of feeling to them. A fish? You got to get the net for sure. That's shaking like a fish now, isn't it? Let me grab a net. That's probably a good fish, son. It's probably a good fish, guys. Stay right there. Be real careful with it right there. You're kind of on the... That's how loose that drag is. We're going to give it some... Give it some drag. No, I think... I did loosen it. I did loosen it. I was just trying to loosen it to make sure we got plenty to play with there. Straight under the boat, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. I think it's too loose. All right. Just ease him up. Ease him up. There you go. Ease him up. All right. Ease down and just work that line up. It's a heavy fish, son. It's a very heavy fish. Ah, oh, dang it. He's going toward that dad gum. Is he coming that way? I'm getting him over here. Okay. I saw it and I was like, is that home? Because it's like bent over and the rod would have been. I was like, oh, that's a fish. It's a big fish. This one. Oh, I just felt the shape. Yep. God dang it. He's around that freaking drift sock. <laughs> Up, so. Where's he, which way is he going now? I can't really tell. I think I'm pull. I'm pulling him this way. I'm getting him to get over here. Okay. He's like getting. Well, I was messing around little with little. some cameras, fiddling with some other stuff there, trying Let's to get, get some stuff moved out of the way. We still had a drift sock out, and I heard Grayson. Nope. Nope. He's over here. Okay. He's right here. Oh, that's a huge platy. That's a. Oh, 
Oh my god, that's a huge flathead. Did you see that? No. Oh my god, that's huge. It's a flathead. Okay. It's huge. Okay, just <laughs> ease up, ease up. Get my head in the right direction. Bend that right if you need to. Typical flathead bite, he's gonna dive. Did you see him? No, I just seen the back end of him. I was getting the net free. He's huge. That's I gotta see his head. I gotta see his head. Easy, easy, easy. Just let him take line if he does. There you go. He's huge. Is he big? Yeah. Body shaking now. Just ease up. There you go. Just use the rod. Turn him, turn him. Alright, let go of the rod. There you go. How big is that? That's a big flat. That's a huge flathead. That is a huge flathead. That is a monster. That is a monster. That's a monster flathead. Sure enough, we got it in there. We got it weighed, and it was a whopper. At first, I thought it was 40 pounds, but looking back on it, there was something I reset on the scale. It was actually 38 pounds. Grayson wants it to be 40, but as I said, honestly, son, it's 38 pounds. Uh, when I pulled the scale off and reset it, it was minus two pounds. So it was actually four pounds less than what it showed weighed in the net, which was 42 pounds. So it's 38 pounds, still a great fish, still a fish of a lifetime. I don't know how long I had to fish before I got a fish that size. And uh, we couldn't be happier to catch flathead catfish during the day on cut bait. Really nice fish. Slimy. Yep. What's that shirt say? We ain't straight out of catfish today. We got them, buddy. <laughs> Folks, hopefully this gives you some confidence that you can catch flathead catfish during the day and on cut bait. As a matter of fact, the majority of the big flatheads that I've caught have come on cut bait. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, smash the thumbs up, and we look forward to seeing you on the water.